Welcome to E Padasala PG program for computer science students. Today we will be looking at embedded C program for timers. So, in this model we will be discussing about accessing the timer registers and uh, how to calculate delay for fixing up uh, using timers and uh, we will be discussing about embedded C programs for timer and counters. So, when you are looking at 8051, we know that we have uh, two 16 bit timers, it can be used as counters also. When you are looking at these two timers, we will call this as timer 0 and timer 1. These can be configured independently to operate in a variety of modes as timer or as counter. So, when operating as a counter, uh, uh, it has to be set and if it is a timer, it has to be set as 0. So, when you are looking at uh, to setting up whether it is a timer or a counter, we need some register or control bit to identify whether it is a timer or uh, counter. So, uh, when you are uh, looking at an uh, timer, uh, we will be having either 16 bit length or 8 bit length or maybe it is configured to 13 bit also. So, uh, when you are looking at a counter, it can count whenever it is getting a negative transition on the external pin. So, it each and every time it gets a negative transition, it, it counts it. So, that uh, if I am making it for 1 second, then the frequency of uh, occurrence of the inputs at the external pins can be counted and it can be displayed. So, when you are looking at this timer operation, uh, we have uh, two registers which will help us to uh, make use of this timer. One is your TH register, another one is your TL register, where because we have uh, two uh, timers, so we will have uh, TX0, TL0 combined together for timer 0 operation. If it is TX1 or TL1 combined together to make it for timer 1 operation. So, we have a TRX bit, uh, maybe I will say that TR0 or TR1, which will be available in your TCON register which turns the timer on by making it it becomes 1. So, when it becomes 1 each time it, it uh, the timer increments if, if it, uh, it has been set it into timer mode then the timer increments by 1 1 with your TLX. If it overflows the TX, THX gets incremented. So, if both the things are getting overflow then the overflow flag TF is uh, set as 1 in TCON register. So, this setting up the TR bit will make the timer to run, start run. So, timer 0 or timer 1, uh, when you are having T mod register where there are two bits uh, M1 and M0 which are combined together to make operating modes. So, uh, maybe uh, four, four kinds of operating modes we can set it, but usually we will be looking at uh, timer mode 1 and timer mode 2. Uh, the, these two are very famous things. If it is 1, it may be for 16 bit operation, 16, uh, 16 bit uh, timer can be used with that and if it is uh, set as 2, then it is a 8 bit timer mode where it is a auto reload also. So, those things we covered in the previous uh, lessons also, but anyway when you are looking at uh, the C embedded C operations, we need to know what are all the uh, control. Uh, controls we need to set before writing a code onto the C. So, modes when you are looking at a timer or counter both the things needs the mode has to be set. So, uh, when you are looking at the registers the control registers which are all T mod and T con these two are control registers whereas, T H and T L are meant for timer register. So, T mod is used to select the mode of operation T con is used to control the timer to run either stop or start. When you are looking at TL and TH to hold the data, so that we will find out how much is the delay we have generated over there. As well as we can put a particular value in uh, these registers to make it uh, how much is the delay we need to uh, generate. So, TMOD is 8 bit register, where the lower 4 bits for timer 0, whereas the upper 4 bits are for timer 1. The lower 2 bits are used to set the timer mode in uh, TMOD. So, the upper two bits specify the operation with your register. The, this uh, shows that uh, TCON registers uh, configuration. So, you just see that 
these are all this TF1 is of overflow flag if for time of 1, if, if it, it gets overflowed then this will be set as 1. TR1 is, uh, is nothing but timer control uh, bit for time of 1, TF0 for timer 0 overflow flag, TR0 is for timer uh, 0's run control bit, the lower nibble is meant for uh, interrupt based communication. So, when you are looking at this IE1 is interrupt 1 edge flag, IT1 is interrupt 1 type control bit, this has been uh, set so that uh, interrupt uh, is a edge kind or uh, normal kind that, that means the external uh, input has been uh, when we are using it as a um, external interrupt. So, by the time uh, these uh, bits are very useful. So, that uh, when you are looking at these are the four things which we will be uh, looking very important uh, when you are operating in the timer mode. So, now uh, we will be looking at how to generate a delay. So, first thing is we need to make the TMOD has to uh, set the with the values, then the TL and TH has to be loaded with what, what will be the delay we need to encounter, then we have to start the timer, then we will be looking at whether the timer flag is set or not, when it is set then we have to come out from the loop. So, this is the way uh, we will be generating a delay with the use of the timer. So, once the TF flag is set then we will find out that the exact delay has been uh, encountered, so stop the timer and uh, clear the TF flag. And if, if, if we need to generate again uh, the same delay, then go for the next round. So, this is the way, then go back to step 2 to load your TH and TL again. So, this is the way, maybe this is for making it iteratively, you need to generate a different, I mean, uh, the same delay uh, continuously. So, for that particular reason, uh, we have to follow this kind of uh, operations. This is the steps to be followed. So, when you are looking at timer 0 and 1 in 8051, see all these uh, basic things we have seen for the timer 0 and timer 1, we need to know so that we will be writing a code in 8051C, that means embedded C. So, when you are looking at embedded C where the general purpose registers such as your A, B accumulator, B register and R0 to R7 general purpose registers, all those things are under the control of C compiler. So, you cannot access it directly these uh, registers and uh, when, when, when you are looking at uh, something like the SFRs. So, this space RAM space is accessible directly using the 8051C C, C statements. It is just like we will be writing a code in high level language for this 8051. So, that way only we, we have to encounter it. So, this is an example program where we will be writing a code, I mean embedded C code to toggle all the bits of your port 1 continuously with some delay in between. So, use I mean we will be using the timer 0 16 bit mode to generate the delay. So, in this uh, you just see that uh, we have uh, included as like the previous uh, mo modules we have come through uh, the em in embedded C program we have to include reg51.h. So, this says that the code has to be uh, I mean written for 8051 controller. So, because of that it will be converted into that instruction set. So, now this is uh, the routine we will we'll be using for generating a delay. So, subroutine is declared first, then the main is declared now while 1. So, this is for generating an indefinite loop, while 1 is generating an indefinite loop. So, in this P1 is equal to uh, 0x55. So, now I will be 55 uh, is telling you that 101010. So, that way it has been uh, written and uh, there is a delay is called after that uh, your P1 is equal to AA. So, what it means is 0101 that means I am toggling if I am putting it 1010 next time it is 0101. So, that, that means I am toggling the LEDs with a small delay this has been called and the LEDs are connected at P1. So, remember that in embedded and C you can call the ports directly. So, P1 uh, these are all the ports you can access directly if I am making use of P1 it says that port 1. So, the port 1 is equal to 0 x 5 5 in the sense this value is moved to this particular LEDs which are connected in series uh, connected in uh, connected parallelly in your P1 port. So, now uh, this delay is generated using your uh, timer. So, how we will be generating it that we will see. So, in the TD delay we made T mod is equal to 0 1. So, it says that 0 1 in the sense uh, the second half is 1. So, because of that it is timer 0 it has been declared as timer 0 and mode 1 and TL 0 is 0 0 TH is 35. So, why we have set TH is now you just see that if I am making it it is a timer mode 1 then 
uh, it can run up to 16 uh, count, 16 bits. So, if I am saying that the overflow will occur when you are getting 1 FFFF. So, after that only uh, if it increments it goes to overflow. So, the maximum count is 4 Fs. So, minus 3500H is nothing but CAFFH. So, this the CAFFH is nothing but when you are converting it to a decimal number which is nothing but 51967 is the number the timer it has to if I am loading it this value the timer has to count up this many numbers. So, plus 1 because I am subtracting it because of that it is plus 1. So, 51968 is the timer count we, we are making it as a delay that means how much is the time we will be generating as a delay is nothing but because it is nothing but this particular oscillator is uh, looking at 11.0592 megahertz oscillator. So, each machine cycle takes 1.085 microsecond. So, time accounts for 51968 time into 1.0085 microsecond, 1.085 microseconds multiplied with this will gives you 56 milliseconds. So, if I am loading this particular value uh, 3500, if, if, if I am loading it TH with 35 and uh, TL with 00, uh, which counts up to FFF, which in turn uh, makes a delay of CAFF, which, which, which is nothing but 51968 timer count. So, that is the delay it, it encounters if I am putting this as the initial count. So, these are the initial counts we made it, after that we made it TR0 is equal to 1, that means we have started the timer. So, now I will be making it while TF0, while TF0 is equal to 0, if I am looking at TF0 is equal to 0, so till then that particular condition it is going in a, in def, I mean a loop, once I am getting a TF0 is equal to 1, from the loop it comes out, if it uh, once TF0 is equal to 1, then it comes down there. TR0 is equal to 0, TF0 is equal to 0. So, this stops the timer as well as it to the overflow flag also cleared. So, which in which which makes the time delay is generated if I call this time delay which generated 56 milliseconds. So, that the P1 is existing in uh, 0x55 that means 1010 that way uh, the input is given. So, after this delay I will be calling again 0 x a a. So, a a in the sense may be 1 0 1 0. So, it, it the LEDs are getting toggled. So, that uh, in between the delay generated is 56 milliseconds. So, now when you are looking at uh, uh, this calculation you just see that we have to when, when you wanted to make this is the delay has to be generated in between two operations. Then we have to divide the desired time delay by 1.085 microseconds. Then perform 65,536 uh, minus this particular uh, desired time delay, I mean I mean what will be the number we got it by, uh, in the first step, whereas n is the decimal value we got it in step 1. Then convert that particular result into a hex core which is loaded to uh, a TL and TH. So, by loading these value and we start the timer, we will wait till TF is equal to 1 then we will be generating that kind of delay. So, remember that this 1.0885 microsecond is per 11.095 uh, megahertz, 952 megahertz. If it is 12 megahertz oscillator then 1 microseconds. That way what will be the crystal oscillator we are looking at the CPU uh, clock cycle generation. Uh, based on that only we have to take what will be the clock cycle. So, the machine cycle time based on that and what will be the initial count we need to load it also will get changed based on this particular value. So, when you are uh, looking at uh, the timer uh, 0 uh, or 1, so delay when, when, when you wanted to use mode 1 16 bit non auto reload if I wanted to do it, uh, this is an example program. You just see that write an 8051C program to toggle uh, the toggle the bit P 1.5 continuously for every 50 milliseconds. So, use timer 0 mode 1 to create the delay. So, now test the program on uh, 8051 uh, controller. So, in this uh, if, if this is the case that means I am just uh, toggling only the pin P 1.5 with the delay of 50 milliseconds. 
So, the LED is already connected over there. So, now uh, include REG 51 dot H which, which says that it is for 8051 this header file has to be included. So, that uh, the whole thing is converted into 8051 uh, machine language when you are compiling and uh, using it for your uh, machine language. So, uh, void uh, T mod delay T, T mod 1 uh, delay is the subroutine we called for generating a delay and uh, I am setting it S bit of my bit which is P 1.5. Now, I am writing my main code uh, void main void where while 1 while 1 is nothing but indefinite delay I am creating it my bit is equal to inversion of my bit that means I am toggling it my bits inversion is equal to my bit that means first time if it is 1 then it becomes 0. So, if I am putting a 0 over there then it becomes 1 that means I am just complementing or inverting the bit which is in the my bit that my bit is nothing but P 1.5 bit. So, now I, I am just doing this toggling after that T the delay is called if I am calling this particular delay. So, how much is the uh, delay I have used? So, I have, I have been asked to generate a delay of 50 milliseconds. So, if it is 50 milliseconds then I need to do go ahead with uh, FFF minus 4B uh, FD is nothing but B402H which is nothing but 46082 plus 1 which is equal to 46083 is the time account. I can generate. So, now if it is multiplied with 1.085 then it is 50 milliseconds. So, I need to load the value of 4 B F D to my T L and T H together so that I can generate a 50 millisecond delay. So, just see that T mod uh, 0 x 1 0 1. So, it is timer 0 mode 1 is set uh, T L 0 is F D. So, you just see that the T L is loaded with the lower byte th0 which is loaded with the 4 b. So, now tr0 is equal to 1 is set. So, which in turn starts the timer. Now, I have to wait till the tf0 is equal to 1 for that I am writing an indefinite loop while tf0 is equal to 0. Uh, if it is equal to 1 it comes down tr0 is 0 and tf0 is 0. So, that I, I am just resetting it so that I will be coming back. So, because this thing is over by up to this so that we will say that it gets returned back. So, that uh, each and every time uh, I am uh, encountering a delay it comes over here after that it gets inverted again it goes there. So, the, the inversion takes care about toggling the bit at P 1.5. The next example uh, we will be looking at is uh, to create a delay of 500 milliseconds. So, that the uh, toggle the all the bits of P 2 uh, for every 500 millisecond using timer mode more timer 1 and uh, mode 1. So, you just see that it is very simple the same way what we have done it with the timer 0 the same way here also we made it Y time 1 delay here uh, unsigned character X. Now, P 2 is equal to 0 uh, 5 5 while 1. Uh, now, P 2 is inverted that means, what will be the port values which is getting inverted and uh, placed at again the P 2 and uh, we called uh, the time delay 20 times. So, that means, uh, when you are looking at a smaller values we, we need to uh, execute it with the only one time the delay is called, but if I am looking at uh, uh, the delay is of more may be 500 milliseconds then I cannot run it with uh, just only one time the timer has to be loaded. So, if I need a more delay more uh, it cannot uh, handle in a single uh, iteration then I have to make it within a for loop it, it will be called for 20 times. So, 0 to 20 times the time delay is called so that it has been achieved to get this particular 500 millisecond. You just see that the same kind of thing we have done it over here, but this, the delay is called for 20 times. So, you just see that uh, 20 into 25 millisecond is 500 millisecond where 25 millisecond is generated with uh, uh, 23042 multiplied with 1.085 microseconds that means, one, one delay 23 1000 uh, uh, 042 is generated with by loading this particular value with your uh, thing. So, remember with the only one time execution 500 milliseconds cannot be got. So, because of that only we have called this delay for 20 times which in turn generates 500 milliseconds delay and you just see that um, this is loaded. So, these values are loaded T r 1 is equal to 1. T f 1 we will be waiting T f 1 is equal to 1 when it is 1 it comes over here it resets again it goes goes over there uh, 
uh, the I x is getting incremented again we call the delay the same way the for loop is getting ex executed for 20 times. So, because of that the 25 seconds delay generation this loop is called for 20 times which in turn makes uh, half uh, I mean uh, half a second that means 500 milliseconds by using it ha for half a second I need to run this timer for 20 times to generate uh, this kind of delay. So, now we just see that uh, we have uh, till then we have gone through only the mode 1, now we will going uh, I mean now, now uh, this mode 2 timer 0 using this particular mode we will be in a position to uh, generate a delay. So, that we will be achieving a particular application. So, this is an example where write an 8051C program to toggle the pin P 1.5 continuously uh, every 250 millisecond using timer 0 mode 2 that means 8 bit auto reload that to create the delay. You just see that I have made it this is a timer mode 2 delay uh, I mean this uh, subroutine we have declared first then uh, my bit p 1.5 s bit yes I have de declared s bit as my bit p 1.5 then with the main uh, the character x unsigned character x and y is declared while 1 my bit is equal to inversion of my bit that means complement of my bit I am inverting it because we wanted to toggle it. So, now uh, for x is equal to ranging from 0 to 250 and y is ranging from 0 to 36 put together uh, we will be making the delay of t mod 2. So, this has been called nested loop of 250 into 36 of this particular number you just see that 250 into 40 is the number of uh, times the loop is rotated and 25 microsecond each time 25 microsecond is generated for generating at that gives you 250 milliseconds because it is a timer mode uh, 2. So, only 8 bit is there. So, we can have only a lesser value has to be loaded. So, because of that 256 minus 23 is 2 uh, the, the 33. So, 23 into 1.085 microsecond is 25 microseconds. So, I have to load minus 23. Uh, in a decimal value minus 23 has to be loaded with the th0 so that I can generate uh, 25 microseconds. So, you just see that I just uh, made it a t mod is 0 x 0 2 th is 23 minus 23 and tr 0 is equal to 1. I started the timer loaded these two things each and every time it gets an overflow it gets loaded with minus 23 to th uh, tl 0. So, each time when it gets a overflow this th0 which in turn loads minus 23 at tl0. So, I will be waiting till tf0 uh, is equal to 1 when it is becoming 1 then I will be resetting tr0 and tf0. So, so that uh, the delay of 25 millisecond is generated with this particular one which has been called by 250 times into 36 times. So, that I will be in a position to generate uh, 250 millisecond delay with the timer mode 2. So, now you just see that uh, this is in timer 1 and mode 2 to create a delay. So, this is also the similar kind of uh, code where we will be doing it for different uh, mode with the uh, uh, timer 1 that is all. So, when you are looking at a switch is connected to a pin 1.1 create a 8051C program to monitor the switch and create the following frequencies on the pin P 1.7. So, if switch is equal to 0 then generate a 500 hertz signal, if switch is equal to 1 then generate 750 hertz signal. So, use timer 0 mode 1 for both of them. So, this is the specification they have given. So, now I made it uh, s bit is equal to my bit p 1.5. So, because I need to generate the values you just see that yes switch is connected to p 1.2 and the frequencies should be generated at p 1.7. So, I, I just made it. Um, S bit P 1.7. Now, I will be looking at uh, S w is equal to 1. So, the, my S w is nothing but uh, P 1.7 uh, where I will be making that as the input where we will be giving the data over there and uh, while 1 my bit is inverted that means I am just toggling it uh, each and every time. Uh, this is to create clock cycle. If the switch is equal to 0 I will be calling 1 delay which is time mode 1 delay 0 else call time mode 1 delay 1 that means switch is if switch is equal to 0 I am calling a delay of 1 1 if it is equal to 1 else it comes over there and it calls this particular delay. So, which takes care about either 500 hertz is generated or 750 hertz is generated we just see the over here if it is 500 hertz then uh, I need to uh, generate 
uh, one particular value if it is equal to 750 hertz I have to generate uh, another delay. So, now you just see that T mod is equal to 0 x 0 1 if C is equal to 0 I will be loading T L 0 as 0 x 6 7 uh, T H 0 is equal to 0 x F C else the value loaded is 0 x 9 A T H 0 is equal to 0 x F T. So, if it is 1 I will be generating a 750 you just see that 7 if it is 1 750 hertz is generated if it is 0 500 hertz is generated. So, if C is equal to 0 then this value is generated which generates 500 uh, hertz if I am loading these two values which in turn makes uh, 750 megahertz uh, I mean hertz uh, clock cycle. So, these are the values only we are changing it for generating the things otherwise it will be the similar one T R 0 is equal to 0 while T F 0 is equal to 0 then uh, till then it will be locked up it has been made it and one the timer runs the delay is generated when it becomes a overflow then these two are reset. So, this is the way we will be generating two different clock cycles based with the same uh, timer mode only but we will be uh, in the code we have changed uh, the setting times in a different way. So, that we will be in a position to generate a two different uh, frequencies at your output. So, we know very well the timers can be used as a counters. So, if I wanted to use as a counter I have to set the gate bit as 1. So, based on that only I can uh, make it the timer should work as a counter. So, if this is the case the C bar T is equal to 1 and we will be counting the data which has been given from either T 0 or T 1 that is the pin 14 means T 0 which is nothing but P 3.4 pin 15 is nothing but P 3.5 this T 0 and T 1 which will be used as a counter as counters external input. So, if I am connecting the signals over here I will be in a position to count how much is the uh, occurrence happening. So, just see that this picture uh, explains you how the counter works. So, the TR should be 1 and what will be the data I wanted to get uh, I mean counted that has been either connected to 3.4 or 3.5 of the 8051 port and uh, the each time it gets uh, the value from here this gets incremented with the registers when it gets overflow this TF is set. So, either it is in mode 1 or mode 2 we can use it. So, when you are looking at the timer control register uh, we have to set uh, TR 0 we have to clear uh, your uh, TF 0. So, these are the things we have to look at um, these are available in your TCON registers. So, this is an example program to make it the timer has to work as a counter 1. So, so counter. So, here assume that a 1 hertz external clock is being fed in the pin T 1 that means P 3.5 write a C program for counter 1 in mode 2. Uh, to count up and display the state of T, TL1 in uh, TL1 on P1 port 1 uh, and the count is started at uh, 0. So, this is the way we need to do it. it remember it is a 1 hertz external clock this has been uh, given as P 3.5. So, now the counter has to be set with uh, mode 2 so that we can find out. So, S bit T1 P 3.5 3.5 the external pin now uh, T1 is equal to 1 we made it this becomes an input port T mod is 0 x 6 0 timer 1 mode 2 and acts as a counter has been set with this 60 with the T mod TH 1 is equal to 0 initial count is 0 we made it because it is mode 2 and while 1 uh, that means indefinite loop is generated do TR 1 is equal to 0 P 1 is equal to TL 1 each and every time I am getting an increment that will be displayed to my port 1. So, that is what we want to continuously we wanted to monitor what is the count it has been uh, increasing whenever I am getting a count over there. So, now you just see that because we set these two values and we made it TR 1 is equal to 1. So, counter starts. So, each time I am getting a signal at P 3.5 which gets incremented and this value is uh, simultaneously displayed at your P 1 while T f is equal to T f 1 is equal to 0. So, till then this goes in a loop. So, uh, when it becomes a uh, 1 then it, it comes over here. So, T r is made T r 1 is made it as 0 T f 1 is made it to 0 to clear the things. So, remember that the timer is made it into counter each time it gets a input from external pin P 3.5 is incrementing the T l 1 not as the CPU clock cycle and it has been 
uh, available with your TL1. So, each and every time you can see that what will be the value incremented which is displayed at P1 also. So, uh, in this uh, model uh, we have discussed about timer programming, timer registers with embedded C and we have discussed about counter concept in 8051 and uh, we discussed about how to write embedded C counter programming as well as timer programming for a different applications. So, all these things you can refer it with the MSD book, thank you.